Hey, what's up people? Hope you guys are doing good. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look at the Z Fold 3 and going over 10 plus apps that I think that you should check out to take advantage of that large screen on this phone. We're in Orlando again, let's do this. So in Orlando, people steal arm rails. So you gotta lock them down. So we all know that Google Maps is great for directions, but when you have a phone that can fold out to a screen this big, Google Earth can come in clutch for finding different locations or just landmarks in general. I know it's kind of basic, but let me show you. So Google Earth is a free app. I'm sure most of you have heard about it, but when you have a screen this big, it's really nice because it can really fill up that display. Let's go ahead and detect my location real quick. I mean, how cool is that? You're basically using Google Earth on a tablet, except it's a phone. And I think that a lot of people could find this extremely useful when you're trying to scout locations and just find some cool landmarks around you. So this is one app that I highly recommend that you check out on the Z Fold 3. I mean, how cool is that? I don't know why it says that I'm basically in a dump, but it's not really a dump. It might be a little bit of a dump. Just, just a little bit. I wonder what's in that bag. Thank you. So of course you know I had to get some coffee. We're at CFS Coffee, never heard of it. Downtown Orlando, if you're ever in downtown Orlando, you should definitely give it a shot. But the next app I wanna to talk to you about is a gaming app. It's actually Game Pass. Most of you guys have heard of it, but the Z Fold 3 makes gaming with Game Pass exceptional especially when you have a controller like this and you could just take a break enjoy some coffee and play some games let me show you so you can see i'm using the flip cover on the z fold 3 this is the s pen version and i kind of have it propped up and then angled slightly so that way i could see it from the point of view that i'm sitting at and i'm gonna go ahead and play a game show you guys how well this works because it's actually really really fun to play games on the z fold 3. so i'm just gonna pick a random player here we'll do batman and uh Joker. Pretty cliche, but nonetheless, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so here we go. I mean, look at that. Even graphic wise, that looks really good. I am using a 5G connection, which is why it looks so good. There's a train coming, so I apologize if you can't hear me. But yeah, this is, that is really loud. That's okay. That is okay. I'm sure you guys can hear me fine because whatever. But yeah, so this is what gaming is like on the Z Fold 3 using Game Pass. And like I said, I am using a 5G connection, which is why the graphics look so good. There's like hardly any input lag whatsoever. I definitely recommend you guys trying this as soon as you get your Z Fold 3 if you're into gaming. You do have to have a Game Pass subscription, but totally worth it in my opinion. And I've sucked really bad at this game. I am so sorry. So there's a lot of photo editing apps to be used on the Z Fold 3, but I want to talk about one before getting into any others, and that's Photo Room, because it's going to lead into another really fun app. So let's talk about Photo Room. You guys are really going to like it. So let me go ahead and pull up Photo Room here. And we're going to go ahead and load in a photo. So let's load in a simple photo for, for now. I'm going to use my cameraman right here. And what it's going to do is it's going to scan the photo, and then it's going to remove the background. Look at that. And then from here, you can actually save it as a PNG file. So that way you can superimpose this on other images and just use it as a PNG type file. Now, what's really cool is it, it doesn't just work with faces. So let's go ahead and load up this little pig right here. Let it scan. And there you go. So not only can you do people, but if, you're, if you have like an eBay store, or just an online store and you need a plain white background for your items, there you go. And look how good that is. It's a free app, but it does watermark everything. If you want the pro version, it costs 70 bucks a year, so it's really pricey. I don't pay for the pro version. I just kind of crop out the watermark. Um, so take that for what you will. <laughs> we'll go ahead and do one more photo. We'll do this flower right here. Haven't tried this photo yet. We'll see how good it does. I mean, that's insane. That is insane how good that works. And then of course you could save this and then drop it into Photoshop on your computer and this cut out the image for you, saving you a ton of time. 
Oh, so to go along with photo room, I want to talk about good lock and two things in specific with good lock, multi-star and pentastic. Pentastic can actually be paired with photo room to have like a really unique custom experience when it comes to the S Pen. Let me show you. So GoodLock is an app that gives you a ton of customization for Samsung phones. To download it, you have to go into the Galaxy Store, then just do a search for GoodLock. You'll see it right here, and then download that. When you open it up, you can see you have a ton of different units to use with your Samsung device. You have Multistar, Lockstar, Quickstar, Clockface, Navstar, HomeUp, NotiStar, Routines Plus, and then if you tap on Family, you have Pintastic, Keys Cafe, Wonderland, Theme Park, Nice Catch, One Hand Operation, and Sound Assistant. All of these things are going to allow you to customize different parts of your Galaxy phone, and you can do a lot of awesome stuff. This is a video on its own, but I wanna focus on two things. Multistar, which gives you a ton of added customization to the multitasking and split screen experience. So if you tap on I Love My Galaxy Foldable, you can see you have things exclusive to the Galaxy Foldable lineup, like show the app always full screen when unfolding. When starting the app, do not show the notice pop-up. Adjust compatibility of app location. Use letterbox. Set app aspect ratio for each app, which you can actually do inside of the lab section now. I covered that already in a previous video. Continue all apps on front screen. Flex mode with our best and rotate with our best. So you have a ton of different options in here. And if you go back, you have a lot of other things like quick launch of the multi-window, multi-focus, immersive mode, and a ton of other things. Definitely dive in here and check it out, especially if you're big into productivity and multitasking. You're going to love it. And stay tuned for a full breakdown of good luck on the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and the Flip 3. Before we talk about Pentastic, Detective Casey has located marijuana. That chronic chronic. The ganja. The sticky icky icky, right there. So Pentastic actually saves as a separate app outside of GoodLock. So if we go into the app drawer and then pull up Pentastic, it allows you to customize the S Pen experience. So this is the Air Command menu here. This is what it looks like out of the box. But if you download Pentastic, you can do default, compact, you can do line, you could do circle, Retro, which is a throwback to old school Galaxy Note devices. Personally, I really like the circle, so I'm gonna go ahead and select it. You can adjust the brightness of the background. You can adjust the background blur. So we're gonna blur it a little bit. And then you can have it just completely, like you could, you could swap out the background for a different image, or you can use the background. So we're gonna go ahead and use this setup. Now when I pull up the Air Command menu, you can see it looks like that. And also you can adjust the cursor. So as you see here, you have like a little dot for the cursor. You can change it to an arrow. So now it's an arrow. You can adjust the size of the arrow, like so. You can apply a heart, a crocodile, Lisa. So you can see it's like a little face. You have cookie, which is a sloth, I believe. Or you can do a custom one like I have myself here, sitting down. So you can use the Photo Room app to create a PNG by removing the background of a photo and then bring that photo into here, like I have my cameraman here, and I can use his beautiful face as my cursor, just like so. So all you gotta do is use Photo Room to remove the background save it as an alpha or PNG photo, and then drop it into your gallery, and then select it using the custom option, like so. I mean, how cool is that? That is pretty cool. It's definitely a unique S Pen experience, if you ask me. Have you ever been out and about, and then you remembered that you have like a document or something on your computer that you need access to, and you don't have it on your phone? Well, having this big display on this phone allows you to really control your desktop using things like Chrome Remote Desktop. Let me show you how it works because I think it's cool, it's free. It doesn't work the best, but it's still useful. Let me just show you. So Chrome Remote Desktop is a free app. You can just download it in the Google Play Store. And then I'm gonna go ahead and pull it up here. I'm gonna select the computer that I wanna log into. It's gonna ask me for my pen. So I'm gonna go ahead and input that real quick. So now I'm connected to my desktop. I can zoom out 
And you can see this is my iMac Pro. There's a cursor that I can just drag and move around. I can open up Final Cut, like so. It's a little tedious, but now I'm launching Final Cut. It should pull up one of the projects that I've been working on as of recent. Final Cut Pro, and boom. So I'm inside of Final Cut. I can actually scrub, like so. Of course, the fluidity of this is gonna come down to your internet connection, how fast of speeds you have, so on and so forth. And it's not just your mobile speeds, but also the speeds on your home internet. But yeah, so you can scrub like so. I can make quick edits. Not the best way to use Chrome Desktop. I definitely don't recommend trying to edit this way, but if you have fast enough speeds, then go for it. This is gonna be used more for like, if you wanted to pull up a quick document. So if I bring the cursor down here, like so, and then pull up like Finder, and then access like a document or something like that. I could easily do that. I can pull up my downloads folder in case it was something that I needed to reference on the go. So this is just a great way to do it in case you have some information saved on your computer that you can't access on your mobile device. This allows you to do it. I talked in my last video how good the Z Fold 3 is as like an ebook reader using the Kindle app. But an app that ties into the Kindle app is Libby because it ties into your local library system and it allows you to read books for free by checking them out inside of the Kindle app. So I'm at a bus stop. This is a great place to read a book. Let me show you how it works. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Libby and then we're gonna check out a book. So once you're inside of the app, it automatically pulls up your shelf, which your shelf tells you what books you have on loan, what holds you have, and then your tags. If you tap on the little search symbol, you can search for a book. If you tap on the little library symbol, it's gonna pull up your local library system and then show you what books are just added, popular books, random books available now, and then you can do a search for different subjects. This is your shelf, and then this is your timeline, the last symbol on the far right. And if you tap on the middle symbol, you can add different library cards. So you can see I have the Orange County Library System card, and if I have another library card in a different county or a different system, I can add it here. So I'm gonna go ahead and download a quick book I'm going to tap on available now. And then I'm going to refine to available now. And also for the format, I'm going to select books. And then I'm just going to scroll down until I find an interesting book. Like, let's see, we'll do The Fallen because it says that I can borrow it. So I'm going to tap on it. I'm going to tap borrow, tap borrow again. And it says I can borrow it for 21 days. Now that I've borrowed this book, I can tap on read with Kindle app. And if you don't have your Kindle app linked to the Libby app, you can do so on this page right here. But since I've already done that, I can bounce over to my Kindle app and there's the book right there. So it's really nice that I can use the Kindle app to take advantage of Libby and read books for free just by checking them out. It's pretty neat. That's a good looking picture. It reminds me of some photo editing stuff. Photo editing on the Galaxy Z Fold 3 is fantastic. Not just because of this large display, but because of the S Pen, it allows me to do fine tune edits. One of my favorite apps is Lightroom. So if I just pull up a photo here, tap add, and then jump in and start editing this photo, I can show you exactly what I mean. So I can adjust different settings here, like exposure, contrast, light, and I can really dial in the values that I need to dial in using the S Pen, like so. I can also adjust different color options, effects. If you guys are familiar with Lightroom, then you're familiar with this app already. You can also do different selective editing techniques like mask, um, things like that to really fine tune those edits. But if you're not a Lightroom subscriber or an Adobe subscriber, you can use Snapseed, which is a free app and it has a ton of different controls. So if you go under tools, these are all the things that you can use to really perfect your edit. And you can go under brush if you want to kind of mask things and really dial those things in. And the S Pen makes it really easy to do that. You also have tons of different looks and filters inside of Snapseed. So overall, Snapseed is just a fantastic free photo editing app that I definitely suggest you check out. Outside of content consumption, another great way to use the Z Fold 3 is to take notes, especially with the S Pen. And one of the best apps to do that 
is Microsoft OneNote. It's free. Let me show you. So most people have heard of Microsoft OneNote. It's nothing new, but it's great how Microsoft's OneNote ties into Samsung Notes so you can literally sync your Samsung Notes to OneNote, which is one of the reasons why I say go ahead and download OneNote if you have a Z Fold 3 or a um, Galaxy Note device. And the S Pen works fantastic inside of Microsoft OneNote, as you can see here. This allows you to take handwritten notes. You can actually annotate, I think that's how you say it, annotate um, text written notes. So if you wanted to highlight something, draw arrows on emphasis and stuff like that, you could do that with the S Pen right inside of OneNote. And one thing that you can do with Samsung Notes is load in PDFs and then annotate those PDFs and then send them to OneNote. And from there, you can of course send them back to Microsoft Word, so on and so forth. So I know I spoke about Samsung Free in my previous video, but I wanna show you another way that you can get free content, including TV shows and movies. So that way, if you wanted to keep your Google Now feed, you could and still enjoy a lot of free entertainment. It's called Tubi, let me show you. Tubi is a free app that doesn't require any subscription or credit card info, and it gives you a ton of free content, as you can see. Now, there are older shows and older movies, but there's a lot of classics in here and a lot of great ones. So if I start scrolling through, you can see you have Alien, which is a cult classic, Child's Play, Halloween 2. This is the Rob Zombie version. You have tons of different movies in here. And then if you tap on news, it gives you different news networks. These are all live. So you just have a lot of content here that you can consume and it's all free. And like I said, you don't have to sign up. They don't need your email address or anything like that. So we talked about photo editing. We talked about content consumption. We talked about gaming. But what about video editing? That's another great way of taking advantage of this screen. And let me show you a great free video editor. There's a lot of free video editing apps out there. And then of course you can sign up for things like Adobe and take advantage of Adobe Rush. But one of the best free video editors that I've found is Ucut. It just gives you the most features, I would say, for free. Like you have your timeline down here that you can scrub and you can see how fast and fluid it scrubs and works. And then you can do like picture in picture. You have different effects here that you can choose from. And you can see most of them are free, which is really, really nice. You have different filters to choose from. And again, you can see most are free. And then if we go back, you can add music, you can add text, stickers, you can adjust the speed of the clip. So if you shoot in 60 frames per second, you can slow it down times two in like a 30 frames per second timeline. You can also rotate it. You can record audio if you wanna do a voiceover, crop, tons of stuff that you can do. This is probably one of the best free video editing apps overall. My cameraman thought that was me and threw the fold and it wasn't me. And now that guy's probably gonna sue us. So that was 10 plus apps that you can use for your Galaxy Z Fold 3. Most of them are free. They're fun apps. They help you take advantage of the large screen that is on this phone. And I think that you guys are gonna have fun using them. Let me know in the comment section if there are any apps that you recommend for me to try out. I'll definitely do that. And uh, other than that, that's the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos just like this and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. That's all she wrote.